so I am on my way to a workshop on how to make a floral crown and then later today I have two models coming, two sisters and I'm gonna take photos of them wearing the floral crown. But first I'm gonna show you how to make it so I'm on my way to the workshop. So yeah, first I'm gonna pick up my mom because we're going to do the workshop together and I'm really excited. Uh, so let's go pick up my mom. So yeah, the workshop is in a garden center where you can also shop tons of baskets, wooden bowls, uh, fake flowers, of course, real plants, real flowers. Ooh. So it is uh, a cool place to go anyway. We're going to get like a drink and a snack and we pay $12.50 per person to do the workshop. So we're here. Okay. Here's my mom. <laughs> I don't know if I can talk during the workshop, so I might do a little voiceover. Uh, but I think it's only us two and then one other lady, uh, so it's almost like a private workshop. So let's go to the restaurant. Here are actually some of the banners that I bought. I use them during my cake smell session sometimes, but then I use the other side without the letters. We have so many cool things. It's a cool hammock. It's not very comfortable. I think I'm gonna fall through the hole. <laughs> Okay, so every week they have different workshops and today it is how to make a floral crown. Uh, the lady teaching the workshop already made an example. Um, so it was beautiful to see the end result already. In the back you can see that there is a ribbon, um, which we are also going to add later. Here are the tools that we are using. Uh, one is to cut the plants and the other one is to cut the metal thread. We actually didn't really use the knife. So we used fake flowers, they're silk flowers and they're beautiful. Um, so we just had to pull them off the stem. And uh, yeah, the ori original design was with real flowers and she tried that the night before, but they kept breaking off and um, they would just like completely be destroyed after a few minutes because it was so warm and the flower was too delicate. So here so are the plants that we used were blue thistles. Um, also baby's breath, also known as Gypsophila, and then any green leaves, like greeneries, which is fresh. So she handed out different branches and then we had to cut off smaller parts. Um, she's gonna show an example of how to cut it because we were not supposed to cut them too short because we need a little bit of the stem um, to actually bind it all together. So actually you wanna cut it the longest as possible on the same branch. But I'm gonna show you because it's quite hard to explain, which was great that she was showing us and giving us the example. So here I'm trying to figure out how short to cut it and she's showing pretty much like where I can cut it to make beautiful long little branches to add into the floral crown. So we kind of all like cut them similar sizes and uh, to have a little bit of stem is good but of course you don't want to have like the full branch in the floral crown. Here I'm going a little bit fast forward because um, otherwise this video is going to take forever. So yeah we were talking, drinking tea, having chocolate but yeah here you can see the branches, here you can see the chocolates. Good, nice detail. So here we're going to um, cut the blue thistles and um, yeah we pretty much just cut them off uh, with a long stem still like to keep them very long. Here you see the baby's breath same thing so we cut off little pieces kind of like similar in size. I would say it was like the size of your hand or a little bit smaller like the size of your fingers pretty much or from your index finger to your thumb that, that size. Um, now we're cutting a piece of the metal thread uh, well, we're not cutting it yet, but we're just like folding it double and then like twisting it around to create this little loop. And later on, we're going to tie the ribbon through the loop. But this is also the start of your floral crown. So make sure there are no sharp edges anymore. Um, like really cut them off short or press them inward so they don't cut anyone going to make little bouquets. So one of each you place them together. So one of the baby breath, one of the little branches, one of the blue thistles, 
and then one of the fake little purple silk flowers you can use any flowers i mean real flowers will be even better but um, just to make it last a little bit longer you can add fake flowers especially because it was really warm that day and I uh, like the days around it so what you do you have this little bouquet kind of and then you twist the cord like the metal thread uh, around it and the loop is kind of like underneath the little bouquet so it's hidden underneath the little bouquet and then you just start twisting it around and make sure you have them all in there otherwise uh, of course they're gonna fall out and this is why you kept kind of like the branch uh, like the stem a little bit longer because otherwise they would fall out and it's also to give the floral crown you know some strength so it doesn't um, fall flat off someone's head but it's a little bit more sturdy so yeah you just twist it around so here I'm doing it and I didn't know the camera was zoomed in this much but anyway so I take one of each kind of like to give you an idea so you create this little bouquet and then I started twisting around um, the metal thread I was asking her like why we use like a copper thread uh, in this color or like it was kind of like grayish um, and not a green one but that's because the green one is actually really bright and green so otherwise it would you know be too noticeable and actually this one color kind of like wasn't noticeable at all so here i'm going fast forward again making it so yeah just uh, making little bouquets one of each and then with the metal wire just twisting it around and here i'm trying it on my head you can see that mine was pretty loosely um actually i like the one that my mom made better because everything was like a little bit more close together so the floor crown actually had more body and mine was a little bit thinner in some areas i mean this was the first time i'm making it here you see my mom's uh, so she was working closer together and i was leaving like gaps or holes kind of like in between uh, my neighboring uh, lady also made a really beautiful one closer together now i was at the end so i cut off all these stems at like a similar size then i twisted around the um, metal wire a little bit more just like twisting it around twisting it around and then you also end with another like hoop so that the uh, ribbon can go uh, through it here i was looking like i had no idea what i was doing <laughs> but anyway so yeah i made the little hoop there at the end um so i could you know have my ribbon attached to the little hoop i actually thought we were attaching like two separate ribbons at both ends but later you can see that it is one ribbon tied at both ends but then it goes all around the uh, floor crown as well it looks really big on my head but in a photo session it's nice to go a little bit over the top with accessories like this because it looks cool in photos like you can have it very small and delicate but then you you'll hardly notice it in photo sessions and the photo session i had in mind was uh you know a little bit mystical and just beautiful in between long like trees well not long trees but like um very cool trees so that the floral crown could be a little bit bigger but I mean if you would get married this might be a little bit too big um, yeah so now we are attaching the ribbon to the back of the floral crown so they she brought like these little metal wire circles uh, and they were open so it was really easy to just connect it uh, so that the ribbon would be attached to the floral crown in the back um, just to make it look nice as well maybe some softness on the inside I picked this color ribbon but she brought several ones so yeah you just have like this little open circle and that's to clip the ribbon onto the floral crown so I'm just attaching it to the back um, yeah as far as size try and fit it on your head a few times so here you see the back of my floral crown i think it looks really pretty but yeah next time i would put them all closer together so the floral crown has a little bit more body so here i'm just attaching the ribbon to the end um and next step will be putting some spray on the floral crown so that it lasts a little bit longer i asked if like hairspray would be fine um she couldn't really tell because they use special spray for like to preserve flowers a little bit longer so i'm going to show you this spray like the name in the next shot but she was just spraying like some spray on there to make it last a little bit longer so this is easy color by clear life oasis i don't know here i'm taking a really cool selfie with my mom it's on instagram so check me on instagram as well and um, so yeah great so this was the workshop on to the next 
Okay, so they're finished. We're gonna take it home now. She used special spray, so it will last a little bit longer. Don't have to hold it in the fridge, but of course not warm in the sun either. Uh, but it should last a little bit. So the little purple flowers are actually like silk flowers because the real purple flowers that she wanted to use kept breaking off and were like falling apart after 10 seconds. Uh, but the rest is real. I can't wait for the shoot tonight, which I'll be filming and showing you the final images. So stay tuned. <laughs> and it's a really fun activity to do with your mom or your friends. Uh, so here in the garden center they have these workshops. Uh, it's very nice. So here you can see the workshop that we attended with the real flowers. We actually quite like it the way we made it. Okay, so it is uh, almost 7 p.m. now and I'm in the studio. I have the two floral crowns here. And I'm going to pick out dresses for the girls to wear. So there are two sisters. The youngest one is 14. She has red hair, which is absolutely amazing. And then um, there's a beautiful older sister as well. I don't really know how old she is. But she's watching my video. So great that you're watching my channel as well. Um, so yeah, I just placed on Facebook uh like a little message i was looking for two models for today i actually placed it yesterday and i already got a lot of responses um and i quite like the concept of photographing sisters so that's why i invited them um see so yeah, i have two identical dresses from the zara in a size small and a size medium i don't know if i want them to wear like identical dresses but we'll see and then with the floral crowns i have some extra like thorns, the purple ones that they can hold. I'm gonna do some individual portraits and then them together. Um, we're gonna, just gonna walk outside here. It's like across the street, so it's literally like a one minute walk. And there are some really cool trees, like the weeping willow trees. Um, and then with the sun like peeking through and there's like water on the side. It's in the middle of like a suburban area with like houses and cars everywhere. I'm gonna show you, but then in the photos you won't notice. I'm bringing my Sigma Art lens, 105 millimeters. Um, it's a very heavy prime lens, but it's beautiful. I can photograph with an aperture of 1.4. It's the largest aperture, so I'm gonna use that one for the individual portraits. And then like 1.6, maybe two or 2.2 for the portraits together. Um, so yeah, let's look at the outfits. Okay, so the outfits I brought are these dresses from the Zara, and they're so beautiful. So I have two similar dresses, I don't know if you can see. Um, and they're really, really beautiful. It has like a dress underneath and it has like lace in the top. Oh my gosh, it's gonna stand up. They're actually like quite long dresses. Um, so yeah, otherwise I have to get a matching one for the older sister. We can keep that as like a backup dress. Cause the rest is too maternity gown-like. Morning dress, no. walking from the studio this way and that is our photo shoot location so it's very close to the studio so here you have the willow tree and it's beautiful because the sun is behind and um, the wind is blowing and here you have my two two beautiful models beautiful sisters you want to introduce yourself you only have to say your name Sophie uh, Jotsky. no super nice and you're 14 and you are 20. Very nice. Okay, so they're not wearing the identical dresses, one from the Zara and one she brought herself. So uh, we're just gonna start here.
placing them in the sun in front of the tree just to get something different. Uh, the first the two sisters together. So we just finished taking photos at this beautiful location which is right across from the studio. The two sisters did amazing uh, and you can really see how beautiful a floral crown adds something to the photo. Um, so yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this DIY video on how to make a floral crown. I want to say thank you to my mom because we got to use her floral crown as well and she agreed to be in the video. Say so thank you to my be two beautiful models who are chilling here on the side and uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Leave a comment and then uh, you can uh, see me in my next video, hopefully.